What's going on, everybody? So back a few videos ago, I did a X99 Xeon test bench setup, and I was using a 1660 Super, and I did a few of these videos back to back. I'd use the 1660, the 1650, a bunch of different 16 series cards. And I had also mentioned the reason I was doing that is because if I go ahead and sell computers going forward, I believe that the 10 series and the nine series are gonna start losing support soon. Now, a lot of people wrote in the comments saying that they don't believe that that's true and that they've been talking about it for a long time. And they are correct. They have been talking about that for quite a while. Um, and I'm gonna get into the nuances and everything of it in a little bit, but um, I happen to know somebody who has a relative that works in NVIDIA and they actually work in a completely different department, but apparently it had been brought up a few times. So uh, let's just uh, jump into this article real quick from Tech Power Up. All right, so just real quick, I'm gonna show you guys over here. We are on the 576.80, which means we still have another four and some random numbers to go in between. So this could be a little while before we actually get into uh, the complete cancelization of game ready drivers. And that's the other thing too, is that there's a bit of confusion. Um, I actually used this just recently. This is a one of my favorite design cards of all time. This is the Poseidon 780. And I used it to do a little bit of testing. I was able to play a bunch of games, no problems. And um, there are some games that'll show up and they'll tell you that the driver is out of date or the driver might not work correctly, but it will still allow you to play the game. And there's going to be a lot of games like that, that like going forward, you'll still be able to use the card for the most part, but you will end up getting less and less support and to the point where like maybe Nvidia will do like, like uh, for an example, AMD a few times in the past had dropped driver support on a card, but then randomly had a patch that came out that was like a necessary security patch that was nothing to do with a game, but like they had to patch other things that were broken in Windows and the, the driver. That being said, it is kind of sad because you 1080 Ti guys out there, and trust me, I just bought one of these, did a video on this a little while ago, and actually gave it to my dad. Um, he'll be fine with what he uses it for, but long term wise now, if you're going to buy like this card for an example, you can get for a really good deal. I got this for like a couple hundred bucks, and it's still extremely fast. That's a 1080 Ti with 12 gigs of RAM basically. And yeah, they're dropping support. So let's get into what they're they're talking about here. So just to clarify, we have the GTX 700, 900, 10 series lineup, and the Volta Titan V cards that will be ending everything. So you're talking all the way down to that 780 that I showed you, um, which I believe these mostly lost support a while ago. You guys can correct me in the comments. I don't remember, but I I have for a long time struggled with the 7 series now. Uh, the 9 series still have been a really good deal. I always find like 980 Ti's for 80, 60, 70 bucks. Like you can get them for an amazing deal. So that's kind of the sad part because again, if you're into like budget hardware or like designing or building PCs on the budget and you have something like a 1080 Ti show up on the marketplace for 80 to hundred dollars, that thing is still going like one-to-one -one with half these newer cards. I'm not particularly too happy about this, mainly because a lot of people who just play like League of Legends and want a really super cheap budget computer will come to me and they'll say, hey, like, what can I get for like 200 bucks? And it makes it very easy to build cheap, awesome little computers for like little to nothing that can play stuff, that can do work, that can do homework. And they're not like worried about playing the latest and greatest games. Now, again, legacy stuff will be supported but like, let's say a newer game comes out that's very easy to play and it requires some specific thing in a driver and Nvidia doesn't happen to give a driver out to the 10 series for it, then you're kind of SOL. So reverse stuff, you can always play the old stuff um, as long as it's not like updated through online. So that's another question that I think a lot of people are a little bit unsure of. Like, yeah, sure, you can go back and play some older games, but if it's an online service based game, even if it's an old game like Counter-Strike 2, for an example, Counter-Strike became a lot harder to run all of a sudden because the CS2 version, which auto uploaded from CSGO to CS2 is like a whole different thing. Does this mean you should get rid of your 1080 Ti if you're still on a 1080 Ti or a 1080? Nah, just keep pushing it. If that's what you're doing and you've been doing it for a long time, just keep it going. The day you can't play those games and if, you're, if you've been going this far, I mean like, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I think the last time I had a 10 series card in my system was probably about 2019. And, uh, and then I upgraded to the 20 series. So 
anyways that's gonna do it for this video um a little different short little video just wanted to give you guys an update as for the channel i am uh, gonna be doing some more videos coming out soon i just it's summertime a lot of craziness going on at my job right now and uh yeah so i'll keep you guys posted drop a like leave a comment uh yeah see you in another video bye